Hello, princesses, and welcome back to Not Fit for Print Beauty with me, Rebecca. Today we have something new from Hourglass. Hourglass has added to their At Night collection with a new fiery at night blush and lip oil. I also picked up another new blush, Sublime Flush, which I'll show you in a moment, just because it was new and had lilac in it, and I thought that was kind of cool. So I picked that up too. Um, but we're mostly going to look at the At Night collection. Now the At Night collection previously just featured the Confession Refillable Lipstick, and the shade was so popular that Hourglass, much like many of its competitors, when it had something popular, it's capitalizing on it. Why not? We're all suckers for that. I know I am. And so Hourglass has taken the At Night, this dark, fiery red shade, and made a bit of a collection around it starting with the blush and then into the fantastic lip oil. The lip oil, actually I was talking about in another video, in the shade Cameo, in another video, is sensational and comfy, a little bit messy, has to be wiped off a little bit. We'll talk about that too. As you can see here, I have got my whole face made up, but I have no blush on. Um, so I thought we would try this on together today. We're going to look at the shades and swatch them. As I told you, I have At Night and Sublime Flush, just because Sublime Flush was new too, so I picked it up. Let's look first though at the At Night blush, and I'll tell you why this is kind of exciting and different for me. My blushes tend to be very subtle. Here are two of my favorite blushes. First Love from Charlotte Tilbury, and She's Sincere from Patrick Ta. And I'm gonna hold both of them up for you and ask you what you notice about these two blushes, princesses. You don't notice much, do ya? I can be heavy-handed with blushes, and so I tend to aim for these kind of peachy tones that match my complexion tone. Um, I play it safe with blush. So a blush like this at night shade is something that mostly would have put me off, but I'm kind of trying to get out of a blush rut because there's so many exciting things happening right now in beauty with blushes. So I thought, why not? My fear, of course, is that I might look like a Raggedy Ann doll, you know, with the blushed cheeks, because I can be a bit heavy handed with blush. But we'll see, this is the first time I'm using it with you guys today, okay? But let's see if we can get a good swatch. I like this because it's not just, oh, I'm messing it up already. It's, it, you know, it's typical hourglass marbled, so it's not really too much. I mean, you would think at night, ooh, that's lovely. That'd be pretty on the eyes, wouldn't it? See, I'm already trying not to put it on my cheek. <laughs> I'm such a chicken. Um, but you know, you'd think with the At Night um, series, this bold red, that it would be too much, but it isn't. I also picked up, just to show you, because it's also new in case you're interested, and I was, the Sublime Flush Blush, because it has this kind of lilac in it, pink and lilac, and I thought that was kind of cool. I'm starting to get into that lilac color. It's there on this finger right here, princesses. I'm trying, starting to get in and interested in that lilac color, ever since I saw Fenty Beauty do that gorgeous purple blush. I'm getting interested in purple. So let's see, oh, that's really pretty. Let's see if I can do a close up on that for you to see. I'll try to make it a little bit darker. You wouldn't put it that dark on your cheek, but that's also kind of pronounced for a blush. Now, normally I would do one on one cheek and one on another, but frankly, I'm not gonna do that in this video. Because if I put a lilac -y pink blush on one cheek and this fiery red blush on another, it's going to look so silly that it actually will not give you a good idea of what the blushes look like, if that makes sense. The contrast will be too much and not pretty. So I will definitely make sure that I wear this sublime flush in other videos for you to see and even swatch it on my Instagram a little more for you. But I did want to show it to you. It's very pretty and also new. All right, let's put on the Sublime Flush and then let's play with the new At Night Lip Oil as well as these two products are the two new introductions to the Hourglass At Night line. Okay, I've got my mirror here and you know, I'm gonna, 
I'm gonna try not to look like a Raggedy Andy doll. Okay, so we have some on there. I tried to blow it off so it's not too much. And I'm going to do what I saw Patrick Ta do, which is smile, but with the mouth closed, which means that Rebecca here needs to shut up. We'll see if that can even happen, princesses. Okay, let's see. Ooh. Wow, I think this is gonna be the season for me to go a little bit heavier on blush. I feel so weird not talking. <laughs> Let me put a little bit across the, the nosy. Ooh, what do you think? Oh, I love it. It's just a little bit more dramatic. One of you was so sweet. You noticed on my Instagram post that my blush looked good. And I was so flattered because I've been wearing more pronounced blush. So you guys are just egging me on. What do you think? So this is the new at night hourglass. You know what, it's not too, too red, is it? Because that typical hourglass marbling kind of calms it down a little bit, doesn't it? Okay, I know you were waiting for it, so am I. Let's try the At Night Lip Oil. So the way this lip oil works, and the reason it upsets some people, is you've gotta kind of pump at it, and then it comes out of the spout here. And can get a little bit messy. So let me pump a little bit more of it up. I pumped it a bit before I started the video just so I wouldn't be sitting here going kick, 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 and, you know, and boring you guys. <laughs> but here's a little more. So there's the color. Let's put a little bit on my arm here. I'm just gonna drip it and then kind of just go like that with my hand just so you can kind of see what it looks like. And that is what we'd expect from me at night. If you have the Confession refillable lipstick, that is gonna look a lot more, I only, I only put a little bit because it's a bit of a mess. That is gonna look a lot more like something you recall from that collection. Let's put it on the lips now. It's certainly gonna go with the blush. Let me get in my mirror here and see what we think. Ooh, there's one coat. A bit messy. That is one coat. Let's try two. Got to pump it up a little bit more. And then I'll show you what I mean by getting a tad bit messy. It is goopy. <gasps> this applicator too is metal and it's kind of nice and cooling and soothing. Mm. And talk about shiny, like all the hourglass lip oils are. What do you think? Now I'm just posing for myself in the viewfinder. I really like it. I'm kind of excited about this. Oh, I said I would show you that it gets a bit goopy. I mean, it, it has a cap. It's not the end of the world, but you know, it's not the neatest thing either, but it's so comfortable on the lips. And what a pretty way to wear red. If you have shied away from red lipstick or red gloss, this is not the kind that's gonna get all over your lips. It's just really kind of comfy and feels like a nice introductory red, even though it's this really seductive, fiery color. So this is gonna be a new staple. You're probably gonna notice this in a lot of my videos. I am definitely going to go bolder with the blush, but I think even this sublime flesh color with its kind of really light white pink can also be a little more dramatic than these kind of peachy tone colors that I've been sticking to to stay safe in the past. So I'm gonna change up my blush a little bit. I, you know, it's fun that way. Um, did you get anything from the At Night collection? Do you have the Confession Refillable Lipstick? Are you interested? Let me know in the comments below. Please give a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And if you haven't already, boy, I would appreciate if you could subscribe to my channel and help me build my following. And I really, really appreciate it if you could. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.